Well, hey, all you viewers to play later. How we doing today? Okay, as you know by that thumbnail, everything else, that's right. We've come back to take a look at what I was able to accomplish with the, what do we got? The Stormcast Eternals Vindicator and Paint Set. Already dropped a review on this if you've kind of missed it. Currently, as of Monday, June 5th, 2023, on Amazon, it's $29.75. Prime, one day eligible. Well worth it for the paints you're going to get, the brush, the miniatures. It, it, it is a really, really nice kit. Now, I had to challenge myself, all right? You're also going to get a bonus in this video. You're going to see three. You're going to see three vastly different styles, vastly different paints, vastly different everything. I wanted to see if I could use the simple paints that are in here. Retributor Armor, Lead Belcher, Cantor Blue, Corax White, Agrax Earthshade, and Sterling Mud. And produce a battle-ready, tabletop-ready figure by only using those six colors. Then I wanted to turn around and paint one how I wanted to. The bonus for you guys is speed paint. I picked up the Learn to Play Age of Sigmar magazine, whatever they have, that has a gut ripper in there, and it had another Vindicator. So I thought to myself, speed paint. Let's do speed paint. I've been using speed paint for small sections because, in my feeling, when you've got a speed paint, you've got a slap chop which means prime and black, give it the Zenithal highlight, or do it in black, dry brush gray, dry brush white, and then go. It's a lot of work for one figure. Can it produce a tabletop ready guy? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a switch moment, well, brief moment, switch, we're gonna go over to the paint table. Now, as I'm getting ready to go to the paint table, let's pause for a word about our unofficial sponsor. Well, hey, all you viewers, to be named later, how we doing today? That's right, Copper Johns is back. He is back, 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 and he's even told me, dude, just let me know when I'm not going to be the unofficial sponsor. Just keep us rolling over. So I think that's really, really cool. But the big reason he is our great unofficial sponsor is, come on, man, you've gone to a gaming store and you're like, ah, oh, let's roll. Oh, my God, the girlfriend's coming in with me. And it's like everybody has Nurgle's rot. The stench with some gamers is ungodly. Copper John's got you fixed up. They've got stuff for your beard. They've got stuff for your hair. They've got stuff for your body. They've got stuff for that beautiful woman who is with you. Or, y you know what I mean. I don't even know what to say nowadays, but your beautiful better half. Check them out. There's going to be a link down below, and there's also going to be a discount code moving forward. It's my good friend's code. I don't make a penny off it. Don't want a penny off it. Won't take a penny from him. I just asked him if we could use his affiliate code over here on the channel, and he was good enough. So like I said, check them out. They've got something for everyone, and let's help defeat Nurgle's Rot. Okay, so here we are on the paint table, currently working on a project right over here. And yes, the paint table is usually the kitchen table in most people's houses, right? Okay, so where are you, you little son of a... Yep, here we go. So this guy was just using the colors in the box. It was a neat little challenge to try to come up with something to go, okay, can we get this tabletop ready just using those colors and not doing a lot of dry brushing, doing a lot of shading, doing a lot of highlighting, doing a lot of edge highlighting. I am actually surprised how that turned out. I had to push myself a little bit more because like with Agrax Earthshade, I'm used to just slop it on there and you're going to cover it up with, you know, highlighting and dry brushing and all that other stuff. The only stuff that I did do is I added some Valhalla and Blizzard to the base. And of course, as you can see, some tufts. I wanted to see, okay, well, how would that look? You know, because this was the very first one I ever did for my Stormcast guys. I am collecting a force. I currently have about 3,000 points. It's amazing how quick they add up when you buy a couple box sets and a start collecting here thing. But all right, so there's the six paints. Now let's put you to the side. So here's what I came up with. There's at least eight different shades on the gold. You know, um, 
I like the way the grass tufts look on the muddy base. So I'm like, okay. And plus the fact that it seems like all these Vindicators now are push fit and they have something extra added to the base. So that's a neat way to add in some scenery. This is probably not going to be the exact style that I go with, but I wanted just to try it out and see what I could do. So there is just me screwing around trying to figure out some paints. Hopefully this is all coming across okay. Now, <laughs> speed paint. Ah, I can't believe I'm going to do this. So, I joined the ranks finally. <sighs> This is brand new. Well, it was. First time I tried to use it, give it a little squeezy squeeze, and the lid, seriously, the eyedropper lid blew out. It erupted out. Thank God. The hard palette that I was using caught all the speed paint and none of it got on the floor. So, you can't buy singles of these yet. You can only get them in the big speed paint, you know, the speed paint mega set 2.0. Yeah, whole thing of Talos Bronze, gone. But all right, I've joined the ranks. Here is only using speed paint. That's only one coat on the armor. Everything is just a one and done option to me, okay? <clears throat> Any shading that I did, I used... Um, the, the, the usual try and true speed paint and water down with medium and then go from there. I left the armor alone because norm normally with Agrax Earth Shade and whatnot, it really covers up a bit. What I did not like, that doesn't look white to me. That's their holy white color. That looks more gray to me. And the bottle that I have has so much pigment on the bottom, it's not even funny. Even with buying a Vortex mixer recently, which will be coming to the channel. I can't even really break that up. I did like the Broadsword Silver. It's a really deep, dark silver. That glittering gold is pretty cool. But everything else on here is a one coat speed paint. That was done in about 20 minutes. If you don't count all the drying time, it took about 20 minutes to kind of figure out what I want for a color scheme, what I want where, you know. After using the 2.0 method, I, I like the additions that they did to the speed paint. I, I'm just so used to, I can paint right over the gold with a Cantor blue. It turned the royal blue or majestic blue, I can't remember exactly which one, turned it slightly metallic. But okay, so there's all three methods. Now we're going to pause for a sec as I go back to, well, the other place, and we're going to wrap this sucker up. So okay, three different styles, three different methods, and a bunch of different paints. Which one did you guys like? Did you like the one right out of the box? Did you like the one I messed about with? Or did you like the speed paint one? I can see a lot of value for speed paint. I can, but that wasn't the purpose of this video. I think that with those six colors in that box, now granted the brush they give you is a starter brush from GW. It's not one of their finest that I recommend going to for every single project you're gonna do you can produce a good tabletop ready force. You've just got to maintain, take your time, and don't be afraid to go back and clean some things up. Like Corax White is tricky. It, it really, really is on its own. Um, it was weird for me doing, painting the whole miniature, laying down all the paints, and then shading. I'm used to, I work with the armor, take care of all the armor. I work with the shield, take care of everything on the shield. Work with the spear, take care of everything on the spear. You know, it, it, it's a process where I come either inside out or outside in. Whatever is the biggest part on the miniature, that's what I go after first. But you can produce a tabletop battle-ready force. It's up to tournament standards because it has more than four colors. So you're okay to play in tournaments just using those six paints in that box. But still, I, like I said, I want to know which one of you guys, which one did you like best? The six paint, my method, or speed paint? Leave me those comments down below. Now, we're at the best part of the video. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger. Everything down below. Like I said, give me that answer. I really would like to know because 
I was kind of impressed with what I was able to turn out with a very, very limited palette and forcing myself to look at things differently. Now, if I made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during this video, and I'm pretty sure that it did, please hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated. But there we go, guys. The Stormcast Eternal Vindicators and Paint Set Part 2. I want to thank you for watching this one. I hope you're having a great day today, a safe day today, and good Lord willing, one day I will meet all of you across the tabletop.